Dun, 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 dun. Hello and welcome. <clears throat> that was my exciting intro theme music to this tutorial. Um, this okay, so you might notice that I am back to Avid 2018. Um, this was because the project I was working on, <clears throat> I was on a big project when I upgraded. I had to go back because there were uh, some corrupt files, and the people I was working for, they asked me, they go, "What version of Avid are you working on?" And I didn't answer. I just quickly went back. Um, it was mostly effects that were having an issue going back and forth between 2018 and 19. Otherwise, everything seemed to work okay. Anyways, um, today I am going to talk quickly about something that I am working on. Um, it's called Fluid Morph. Um, I like to do tutor tutorials based off of kind of um, what's going on in my current edit um, and what I had to learn. But basically, we had this long interview, and she was having a hard time reading the teleprompter as well as um, just having a hard time remembering and talking and these are longer scripts and so what we did and we were running out of time so we said well why don't we just read off the lines to you and you stay as still as possible and then we will um, try and cut those and morph your face so here's an example here's a cut okay so she says something okay so She's talking, and there's a cut there, as you can see, a little jump cut. So what I decided to try and do to see if this would work out was to use a little feature called Fluid Morph um, right here. Okay, and you just bring that over, and you drag it in between the two, and what it does is it tries to morph um, your image. Now, this works pretty good if you're in an interview setting and they don't have their head moving right to left. Um, in your settings, I usually will set it from instead of still to still, stream to stream. You can do feature match, but I always find that feature match for me doesn't seem to work very well. Um, but let's just kind of see here. So as it is, if she's talking and you kind of go through, you can see a little bit of a blink there, you see, just like that. It kind of looks like a little lizard. But you know, if you're playing this real time, you're really not going to notice that. You might notice something a little strange. Let's do feature match and see what that looks like. So, talking, talking. So not a lot of difference there with the feature match on. Um, so I'm just going to take it off and then I'm going to render this for you and then show you the magic of Fluid Morph, how quickly and effectively you can, you know, bring cuts together. However, we did have to tell her what we were doing and say, please stand as still as you can in between, you know, comments. And I'll show you a few examples of where it doesn't work as well, so. Members of the body of Christ. The NAD yeah, so there you go. See, so there was a cut there originally. I mean, if you're really looking and close, you can kind of tell on her mouth, but when you're playing real time, it goes pretty fast. Where it gets really hard is when we have a wide shot and her hands are moving. So as you can see, like I have it here, and I might be able to finesse this a little bit, but right here, you kind of see her hand just a little bit right there. Um, that's not that bad. I mean, it just kind of looks like a little motion blur. So when you play it fast, yeah, see, not bad. Anyways, that's Fluid Morph. Um, in a nutshell, seems to work pretty good. So if you ever have an interview and you don't want to do a jump cut and their face is pretty close to just like, you know, itself, uh, try Fluid Morph. It'll work. That's it, guys. That's it for today. Um, I will eventually upgrade back to Avid 2019. I just am really enjoying my Avid 2018. I miss it a little bit. A lot, but, you know, it's okay. Uh, as always, let me know if you have questions or if you would like to see me do a tutorial on something different.